question number 13 two blocks x and y at different temperatures are placed in thermal contact with each other so i will have one block x here i will have another block x y over here y over here okay until there is thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium what do you mean by thermal equilibrium both of them are in the same temperature okay then block x and y are made of same same material same materials with water cx is equal to cy what is c specific heat right specific heat is both the same the mass of block y is half that of block x mass of block y is a half that of block x okay the change in temperature of the block x has a magnitude delta t so this has a delta t and the change in internal energy of the block x has a magnitude delta u so this has an internal energy delta u then what is the change in magnitude of the temperature of block y so for this what will be the delta t and what is the internal energy of the block y so what is delta u over here now one thing that you need to note is that when this x has supplied some energy to it okay and if you say it has reached thermal equilibrium that means the change in internal energy of x and change in internal energy of y should be the same which means if this is delta u x and this is delta u y i can easily say delta u x is equal to delta u y the reason is because the change in internal energy remains the same when both the objects attain thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium okay now this is what one thing which we have come to first so what we'll do is we'll use this one so therefore now you see these two are incorrect either of these two should be correct over here now we know delta u is nothing but mc delta t and uh, this is your cx and this is your mx should be equal to m y c y delta t y t y over here i do not know what is the change in delta t y so therefore now we also know m y equal to m x by 2 m y is equal to m x by 2 so in other words i can from here i can now write uh, m x is equal to 2 times m y i'll put it like this over here i don't want fractions i'll put 2 times m y the c x and c y are same already we have seen this right so c x and c y are same so into delta t is equal to m y times delta t y so m y and m y also cancels so delta t y is equal to 2 times delta t so this is the right answer d is the right answer